The book Mindset Secrets for Winning by Mark Minervini is a story about what he did to find his place in the world and become a winner, despite growing up in an underprivileged and violent environment. Mark Minervini accomplished his goals against considerable odds. His approach was to dedicate most of his waking hours to developing a strategy, a systematic approach derived from studying winners in every field from business to Olympic champions. He then applied this strategy to everything he's ever done. In this book, you will find disciplines that make winners win and dreamers reach their dreams. Please subscribe and like this video. It will help more people see it and learn about the important takeaways from this book. The first thing you need to know about winning is simple. If you don't have the right mindset, then your knowledge, practice, and even skills will be rendered ineffective when you need them most in the real world. It's the mental game that really separates the top performers from everyone else. The 7 Noble Truths of a Winner 1. Winning is a choice Real empowerment comes when you realize that every action, reaction, and emotion – happiness, sadness, anger, and love – are all choices. 2. You are the owner of your life and everything in it. You are the source. 3. Great achievement is a process. Thinking about winning can pull your focus off the proper steps. Thinking about the process is the answer. 4. Every result contains a lesson. Success or failure exists only in your mind. A setback is just a result that contains information to evaluate and learn from. 5. Willingness is more important than desire. It doesn't matter how much you want something. The success you ultimately experience will be proportionate to how willing you are to do what it takes to succeed, and that willingness will be tested. 6. Records are meant to be broken by people just like you. The heroes you admire are really role models showing you what's possible, what you too can achieve and exceed. 7. It's never too late to become the person you always wanted to be. Your global beliefs are the first step. Choose empowering beliefs. Outside sources can influence what we believe, and personal experience can strengthen our beliefs by giving them credibility. When we have multiple experiences that are in line with what we believe, we become increasingly convinced. Most of our personality was shaped early on by fear of embarrassment, fear of losing face, fear of appearing uncool. If you cling to your old fearful beliefs, you will never be able to courageously create the life you dream of. Even if you have experienced success, much of the thinking that has gotten you to where you are currently will not necessarily get you to where you want to go. A new way of thinking is always a necessary part of personal growth. Rewrite your personal truth and rewire your brain by recalibrating your beliefs. Follow these steps. 1. Challenge and destabilize your old belief. Ask yourself, how is my current belief holding me back and limiting me? 2. Introduce a new replacement belief. Ask yourself, what new belief could I adopt that would empower me to do amazing things, a belief that would be in direct conflict with my limiting belief? 3. Reinforce the new belief repeatedly. Ask yourself, how can I validate and strengthen this new belief? Take action and create evidence that your new belief is true. You become a winner the instant you decide to start living like a winner. Then winning competitions and winning in life becomes possible. But first, you must bridge the gap between where you are and where you want to be by living in your new identity. Everything you need to succeed and to achieve your dreams is already available to you. It's just a matter of becoming congruent with your better self. Find the best part of you and treat it as if you are only that. Nurture your finest qualities and they will grow. In the presence of your best self, your lesser self will perish. Build the self-image of a champion. Your self-image determines your level of performance. No matter how much talent or natural ability you have, no matter how many hours you practice, if you have a poor self-image, you will fail to realize your full potential. 
because you only perform up to your self-image. That's why it's so important to improve it, and here's how. The self-image resides in the subconscious part of the brain. It's like an archive of all the thoughts you ever had about yourself. When you perform a task with a positive result, your self-image grows stronger. And when you produce a negative result, your self-image weakens. Past failures, however, don't need to dictate the future. Fortunately, the subconscious mind is very susceptible to suggestion. You can use the conscious mind to imprint new images and fresh possibilities in your subconscious. Research shows that events that happen during heightened states of emotion, such as fear, anger, and joy, are far more memorable than less dramatic occurrences. Get into the habit of staying calm and minimizing emotion when you make mistakes. Say to yourself, that needs some work, or ask yourself an empowering question like, what can I learn from what just happened? But when you have a good performance, make absolutely certain that you celebrate. Reinforce your identity as a winner by telling yourself, that's like you. Fill your thoughts with your best performances and what you want to see happen to improve the probability that you will have more good performances in the future. Expect success. The author's definition of commitment is simple. Doing the thing you said you were going to do long after the excitement you initially felt has faded. The key to attaining that level of commitment is expectancy. If you were absolutely certain that you would be successful, would you persist? Of course you would. You expect to win. You commit to the process and embrace the journey. When you accept everything on your path as a necessary part of the process, you stop looking at setbacks and mishaps as a reason to quit, and you start looking at those so-called failures as important steps and exciting opportunities. Action creates traction. Too often, people convince themselves that they'll do something when everything is perfect. They wait until everything comes together or for the right conditions to materialize. But the longer you put off committing to something, the easier it is to delay it even more. Because the closer you get to a challenge, your fears amplify and the voice of doubt shouts even louder in your head. When you pursue a goal, it's better to do something imperfectly than to do nothing flawlessly. It's better to take a small step than no step at all. It's better to make mistakes and learn the lessons than to make no mistakes and learn nothing. The sooner you start, the sooner you can start making progress by learning the important lessons that will propel you to your goal. Our minds can be masterful at creating compelling arguments for justifying inaction, but our minds can be just as powerful at motivating us. It's our perspective that needs to change. Reverse the polarity of your fears so instead of them crippling you, they inspire you. Ask yourself, what will it cost me if I don't take action? What will I lose out on, miss, or fail to experience in the most important areas of my life? By zooming in on the long-term pain created by procrastination and bringing into the present moment, you can leverage your fears. What is your master priority? All of us have multiple goals, but you can't do it all at once and be great at everything. One big goal must come first, and some other areas of your life will get less attention. Right now in your life, a default master priority exists that everything else serves. But it may not really be the master priority that you want to take the top spot. Ask yourself this question. When it really comes down to it, what does everything else take a back seat to? That's your master priority. Remember, what's most important always wins over what you want the most. The things you assign the most importance to and put the most time into are the things that are going to show up in your life most. What you prioritize is what you get. We have another great video about Mark Minervini's trading strategy and a summary of his book, Trade Like a Stock Market Wizard. Make sure to check it out.